All right, folks, what's happening? It's Drew. <laughs> That's me. And little Maggie. Yep. Wee puppy. That's where she sits. Sometimes. <laughs> or she sits down there, or she is in her box, but just takes her fancy. Anyway, that is me. I am currently going up this wee track to get my plow. I've got the mud guards on the tractor now. So that'll help keep all the dirt off, considering I'm going to be plowing. As you know, there's a lot of soil involved with that, so it'll cover the windows. So I'm going to get my plow on, get out a wee graze, get a wee look over, and I, I head down and try and get some plowing done. Feathers champing at the bit to try and uh, get the <laughs> cedar in basically immediately behind me. So he'll be trying to push me on, so I'll be uh, likely ploughing and sowing and he'll not be far behind me so that'll be interesting for you to see. I would have thought, but who knows. <laughs> Pressure's on, rain's coming, so better get going. <laughs> Just you wait there lass. There she is, there's my plough. Can't put her on yet. Fair's got my ram. Uh, my uncle borrowed the ram and then before he was giving it back there was a wee leak on it last year uh, just around about the seal so it got taken away and uh, new seals have been put in the ram to stop it dripping so that should help make my ploughing a little bit better so that the plough doesn't screw round when it's in the soil so there's Feather let's get this ram on well, that took quite a bit longer than I anticipated, but the ram is gone. Because there's no oil in the ram, I've lifted it up. This is what it's done, so I need to fill her up. There we go. And of course, my berry width, I need to get it in so it's easier for the road home. I'm going to go down the road and I'm going to take the paint off the front two mole boards. And I thought I took enough off last year and then when I went out to actually plough with it after I, they fell off, if I mind right. Aye, they fell off the front two, uh, just with how worn they were. As soon as I started ploughing with the new mole boards, the, well, I shined them up a bit and then I thought the soil would take up paint off and it didn't <laughs> just made a mess um, so I'll go down the road and I'll buff that off and uh, yeah take it blow down the road get it set up and uh, hopefully I can get some nice uh, clean runs <laughs> Maggie's taking to sleeping on the floor with her wee towel so let me get going Hey Maggie, it's gonna be a big day. Right, that's one done. Bottom one's not too bad, but I'll still take the stick still take some out off. That seemed to clean better than the top one. Yeah, but that's all of the stuff off, except, uh, of course, some stewer, so that'll come off anyway, but it's now all over me. No ideal, but, aye. Brilliant. Right, I'll play, put the plough over and do that side, and gear a grease up, then I'll get away doing. Perfect. Here we are, heading down the Thistle Track Road. <coughs> can tell it's been wet recently. The window wipers only on because of the condensation on the window. The field on the right is the one I'm going to be ploughing. Around 25 acres, 30 acres. But run about that. Um, aye, this is the rough road you have to go up and down with it. Dung spreader, 
the dung spreader's been making it wider as time's going on, wearing away the sides. I don't ever, don't ever think this road was actually bottomed out properly, because it looks like it sank in quite a bit. It's just rough. But we don't use it often enough to be bothered with fixing it just with where it is. Take aye unbelievable amount of time to try and sort it only for it to be used once a year so here we are almost at the field do the first run do some adjustments and then do the second run do more adjustments I'll be a lot of adjustments till I get it right <laughs> want to make a good job you know I like making a good job on my plowing. <laughs> Satisfying. First things first, I need to figure out what side of the field I ploughed last. <laughs> shouldn't be shouldn't be too hard to figure out. There'll be a hole at the side of the field, and then that's where I put the tractor in, but aye. That's what I need to do. Found it already, it's up this side. <laughs> Don't need to worry too much. Right. Nah, I had a feeling it was this side, so uh, aye, pretty good. I'll just get started, but first I'll need to. Uh, I, I don't like ploughing here down, and then I've got this ridiculous bit in here to plough <laughs> first. Uh, uh, there's a bit just round the corner in here. So I have to plough that first, bring it out to here, and then then I can start my ups and downs. So this is what I'll need to do first. It's a bit of a pain, but oh well, just one of the things. <laughs> it would be too easy if it was simple. <laughs> That's just the way it is, but right, better get going. Alright, no comments about the straightness of that run, I am well aware it is not pretty. But that's just because of all this. And, aye. <laughs> the plough gets choked a lot in this first run because all of this kind of chuck stuff at the, the side here, it's horrible stuff. Uh, really bad drains in there, uh, really need sorted. It's really wet, you can't get in it, overgrows then it feeds its way into where we actually do work. Uh, aye, horrible stuff. I'm trying to keep it back, and then when you plow it, it chokes the plow, and uh, aye, so it choked the plow a few times in this run, which made it horrible. So I'm now, I didn't adjust the plow when I was in this wee bit there. It, Cause it's plowing on a corner, it wasn't gonna be easy to adjust. But now I'm on a kind of half straight bit. I'm gonna get out and have a look and adjust what I can and then look over it again and then adjust it after I get going again. Usually it takes two or three goes and then you just kinda adjust it a few times as you're going along. So let's go out and see what's wrong with it. <laughs> Right, first off, because the ram was taken off, you can see it's leaning left. So I'll need to adjust the tilt, pull it back this way a wee bit. As you can see how much more it's taken in the front for, second for, and then to the back, it's not taking that much. You can see it, and you can see the lean on the plough anyway. So I'll adjust that, and then I'll think about the top link after that. Uh, so, yep, yeah, right, let's get that done. So I'll need to take the pressure off the ram, get my big spanner here, turn this turnbuckle, because that's what adjusts the plough. So let's get going. I don't need too much, but just enough, I would have said. I'll see what that does, doesn't take too much. 
Maggie cannot stand being left alone, look at her. <laughs> and the spanners, right. See what that does. And then adjust the top link. Or adjust that again. But we'll soon find out. Now that's no your chair, get out it. Out! Come on Maggie, move. Uh -huh. That doesn't mean anything to me. Get. Oh. Right. Top links running in the middle slot. See that fur there? It's choking up again. Just with this long crap. Really hard to make a good job in here at the moment. That front fur still looks a bit too deep. Link. Right, so I'll get out and have a wee swatch at this. Get out and have a look again. That doesn't look that much better with the angle. Right, some more adjustment is required. Doesn't look too bad, but it's just the front because it's angling down, it's digging more. It's just making all this uneven. It's throwing the front two first higher than the back two. Uneven plowing, no use. Maggie again in the window. Jimenez. Pressure off, just you stay there. Not really sure how much more adjustment I've got here, but looks up. Right, that's a bit. Quite a bit more than last time, seeing as it didn't look like it had done anything that time, so. Let's see what that does, but that doesn't do anything that. I'll be pretty pissed off. <laughs> Some dog. a lot better already. I just need to see what it does on a better run than this. I'm now getting into the rough stuff because of this. So this is the first bit I ploughed. Because it was a big corner I didn't want to adjust it. There. You're better on a nice long run or a nice wee short bit. Ah, for God's sake. Always look back. The plough's choked, right, I'll sort this out. Sake. So the furs are turning over nicer, but I still think the front looks a little bit high sometimes. But I'm just going to get out and have a wee swatch at it again. Um, could be the top link this time. Other than that, looks pretty good apart from the odd grass piece coming up because of the soil yeah, the crap on the top here as well it's no help get off my stuff what are you doing up there free range dog 
even if there's not a lot to adjust, I've got this to unchoke anyway. Endless. <laughs> I'm not getting very far here. Pretty straight to me. Right angle to the ground. Just one thing. Actually, looks like. Right, see my problem now. So I need to widen my front fur ever so slightly. Just making it. So, the front hut far slightly narrower than this, so that's making this one look higher because this one's lower because it's narrower. So I don't need to adjust the top link, I need to adjust my front far, which I can do from the tractor, so uh, I'll unchoke this and then get going, but I think that's me adjusted. Pretty good, happy with that. Let's see what footage we can get now. Here we go, plow type. <laughs> Pretty pleased with that now. Plowing's turning over very nicely here. Top link's square in the middle as well, which is a really good sign. And, uh, yeah, she's going very well. After another couple of runs before I decide if that's 100% adjusted uh, aye, I'll do another couple of runs with it like this See if I need to adjust any more and then I will speed up Because then I'll know it's 100% You can see the fur's a lot better at this kind of pace And then uh, you can see what needs adjusted far easier but I need to get on because uh, feathers going nuts wanting to <laughs> get on <laughs> you want to sleep are you? Maggie's going to sleep yeah. yep so once this is I'm going to start trying to straighten it out now <laughs> as well it shouldn't take too much nice big flat field I really do enjoy ploughing this field because it's so flat. It's a lot easier than ploughing at home. All those hills you've got a lot more to think about than just ploughing the ground. <laughs> but yeah, plough's going well.
just out getting my camera off the back of the plough. Thought I'd see what kind of angles that gets. If they're any use, I'll put them in. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to let Maggie out for a pish. As she's done already. <laughs> a wee run around. I suppose it's quite a long time to be sitting in a tractor. <laughs> getting across the field now. Uh, the odd wee tough to grass. Unavoidable, but overall I'd say the ploughing's pretty level and it's looking pretty good. Uh, fair pleased with how it's turning out. Uh, I fair happy with this. But so this this is the easy bit, so then I'll have to go around here after, which is gonna be a pain. Um so getting to the edge of this corner. And then uh, once I'm round this corner, uh, so I've got a few more straight runs to this pole, and then I've got so straight run will be straight down here and up there. So I've got all this to plow out. Another wee random dug leg in the middle of the field. Hey, don't eat the dung, you. Come in, oi, come back, Maggie. Uh. Oh. Worst thing about puppies is they eat everything. Uh, but aye, no, so random dog leg just over there to plow out. And then I can get back to my straight runs. When I'm on the straight straight runs, I can fair make a bit of ground, which is great. Uh, but aye, uh, just never a nice, easy, square field. <laughs> So, hi, getting there, pretty good. Happy enough, tractor's going well. Maggie's been patient, she's been good, haven't you? Eh, uh, some puppy. <laughs> anyway, let's get some more footage for you. Just thought I'd also point out I'm plowing straight <laughs> for a wee while. We'll see how long that lasts. Uh, love it. Love it when you see it straight and level. It's a rarity. Uh, there's a wee kink actually, but it's not too bad. It's not what you go for. Straight plowing is always nice, but straight plowing is nice. However, you're better. <laughs> and that's what I aim for, so aye. <laughs> so after I let Maggie out, she's uh, woken up a lot. Um, so I had to stop her chewing stuff in the cab, so I've gave her a bottle of Yazoo that I've took the cover off of. And she's been going nuts at this for Bloody well, 10 minutes now. Leave the towel alone. Hey! Get your bottle. Use your bottle. There you go, that's better. <laughs> Beauty. So there's Feather. He's arrived. He's in the field. He's over there. <laughs> Pressure's on now. Great. Can he leave me alone to get ahead? Oh no, not slightly ahead, but... <laughs> oh dear, here we go. <laughs> Pressure's on. Hey Maggie. You don't give a shit, do you? Never mind. Anyway, plowing cedar going in the same field. Yes! Um, so I'm back down again. Today, feathers sowing and he's got right across to here near enough so that's one bag I think that was one bag he had in so he's uh, put on my tail <laughs> so I better get going well I stay ahead of him anyway and get some pluing done I'll show you what I've done up the top. I've done something different this time. Instead of 
going right into the dog's leg and ploughing out to where I'm going. I've, I've done a straight line down and ploughed that way so it's all the same that way rather than ploughing it out to there so it's not a mess. So I'll uh, show you what I mean and oh, you can tell me what you think of it. <laughs> I've uh, brought a shovel and a fork for when the plough chokes because I got fed up with it yesterday. Me Maggie likes to find the most random of places to sleep. She seems to like the window now. But I got fed up with the plough choking yesterday, so just on heat rigs and whatnot, so uh, that doesn't look that clear. Hang on. So I got fed up with it choking yesterday, so I brought the fork and the spade along. Uh, so that will hopefully help uh, unchoke it because the hammer's a hammer's good, but guarantee a spade and a fork, you know, for for angling it will help a lot more. I'm just going slow just to check that the plough is making a good job. As you can see, it is. It's leaving nice, beautiful, even furs here. Nice and level. They all look pretty similar to me, so that's ideal. That's what I like to see. Nice, tidy job. Beautiful. And then, of course, there has to be a inconvenience at the other end here. <laughs> but I've already ploughed around it. I've just to go straight through here, I think, now. And then uh, on the other side, I'll show you what I did to get our straight lines over here. Um, not a lot left to do over there, so I'll go and do that first uh, before I start doing my big long runs again. So, hey. So on my last run on this, I uh, <laughs> I just drove straight up with a plow. And of course, it left a hole in at this end. So then I drove back down to make the hole at the other side. So that's why the hole's been filled in here. Uh, I'm currently sitting in the last of the hole for this run. Um, so I'm going to turn her around and get the hole back at this side. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll be a bit of laughing about, but I'll be fine. But I'll keep the front of the plough up and hopefully we can make it nice and level. And uh, the cedar will sort the rest out. <laughs> I'm not really sure if this is what you would do, but this is what I'm doing. And then it's given me my hole back over this side again. Because if I plough it all out, to here it would make a mess anyway so <laughs> just trying something new and it looks pretty decent anyway with what I'm doing so I'm happy enough um, to do this front first probably a little bit high so I'll lift that up just a little tad at the moment on my draft wheel and uh, keep this straight try to do everything at once record steer draft control that looks a bit better now. Nah. Aye, it should be pretty decent and level. <laughs> well, as close to level as I'll get it for doing what I'm doing, but aye, it'll be fine. And uh, that means I've had... Uh, aye, it'll be, it'll be nice. Because I'll be start ploughing over there to plough it out to here and it's guesswork and you know what'll happen there. Or you plough it straight lines out to here, then it's rough like a hydrant, rough like a heat rig, or do it like this and end up with one bump that will get ironed out, no bother, with a power harrow on the cedar. So that was uh, what I thought would be the best option for this. But I think it's doing alright. Um, not sure if I'm keeping it straight or not though. I fear to look back because I'd like to keep my head forward. Alright. <laughs> Get 
a wee swatch list now. Getting it to the end. Hello, Rava. I'll just. Ah, that doesn't look bad at all. Quite happy with that. Quite happy with that. Good. Right, I'll do another up and down in the long run and then I'll come up here and sort that out. And then I'll need to do the heat rig on that side. So the long run there, then the short run across there. If I do that, that'll just help keep things uh, red up as I'm going round because this field is awkward in shape. So, eh, that's what I'll do. Just a wee bit of grassy stuff from turning it over again. Not too bad. Pretty decent. And uh, it's matching up pretty good with down here, so... Eh, happy, happy. Level. Oh, not level. Level now. Always watch your plow. Always watch your plow. So I'm currently doing the heat rig of this bit. Go to the point back there where I'd uh, just end up just uh, going forward and then reversing. It just gets so short runs. So uh, I. <laughs> Just do this heat rig and then that means I can move round and then get back to my straight runs and then I don't need to worry about this bit and just this wee short one then no long there so aye <laughs> hey, hey, hey. still beating that no oh. got to watch huh let her out for a fish there and she starts eating the dung never know what she wants <laughs> So I've just got the, just had the drone up and I've taken it down. Got quite a bit of footage there, so hopefully some of it's good enough to go in the video. Uh, so Feather's now seeding. He's just finished all the points up there, so now he's going to be doing the long runs. So I'm in the long runs as well, so I can fair make some ground now. Um, just had to avoid a, an old metal pole in the field. Got to pay attention. I've, I've hit it with a front weight block before and remembered uh, in the past. Uh, but it's just when there used to be a fence right through the middle of this field. But I got to take now uh, to be one big field instead of two wee ones. So, and that was a good idea. But this, these fields are known as hawks, flat ones. They're right next to rivers. There were overflows, so the rivers used to come up. I'll still do sometimes. So they flood it and uh, it's quite fertile soil. It's fertile soil and uh, with it being like that, it uh, produces very good crops every year. And uh, uh, well, there's always a chance that the floods can come up and take some of your crop. But touch wood, we've been quite lucky. Uh, top soil is very deep here because of the number of years of it being a floodplain and uh, so very deep topsoil, very good fertile stuff you know, very crumbly, good loamy soil and the plough's doing a very good job of it uh, making a very level job, I'm quite happy with it see, Maggie just cannot handle being left alone there she's in the back window again but aye Anyway guys, hope you've all enjoyed this video. Um, there's not really much more I can show you, it's just me ploughing again, so hopefully you've enjoyed this. And uh, if any questions about ploughing, feel free to leave them in the comments. Or if you've got any tips for ploughing, please feel free to leave them in the comments as well. So, thank you very much for watching, we'll see you all next time. This is Drew's Farming Life. And that is Maggie. Cheers guys. <laughs>